Good morning. It is seven o'clock in the morning on the day of Wisconsin Sheep. Now, I need to preface this by saying this is not as exciting as Rhinebeck because it's like an hour drive and not like a whole day of travel. But I've been up since 345 because <laughs> I'm way too excited. So I'm gonna go do something about this and then um, I'm gonna pack my bag and then we will get ready to go and I will take you along with me. I promise to do better than I did last year, which is where I promised to do a vlog and it didn't actually happen. So, okay, let's go get ready. All right, Jade, we're ready. You're not coming. I was hoping she would squawk or something. Okay, we're ready to go. I have to pack my backpack, grab some cash, and then we have errands to run, like getting gas and coffee, and then we'll be on our way. So, vlogging in the drive-thru at Starbucks. I was gonna get a pumpkin spice latte, and then on the board, it's like, spice up your regular chai. So I'm getting an iced chai latte with pumpkin spiced cold foam. I'll let you know how it is. I'm very excited. Okay, Starbucks, now, road, next. Okay, so we're here. There's people getting out of the car next to me. It's already like 70 degrees. It's okay, that's why I didn't bring any knitwear. All right, let's go in. Okay, we're here now. There's Karen. There was Karen. There's mom. Mom. Okay. Yay. Let's do some shopping. hours I have done the damage and now we're gonna go home and I will show you guys what it okay was. so I am home weather went from being like in the 80s and sunny when I left Jefferson to cloudy and like in the 60s when I got home which is good because it was way too hot so some of the haul stuff I'm not gonna show because I got like soap for Colin and I got catnip mice for Gigi who's downstairs having living her best life with those, but I will show you what I bought for myself. So we'll start with the small stuff first. So I got from Maple Hill Farm. I have their card somewhere. I'll put the details for that down below. I think it's in my purse, so. I got uh, sheet milk soap. This is spearmint eucalyptus. It smells like gum in a good way. I got also a rosemary mint. Sheep's milk soap. That one's real good. And then I got a charcoal sheep's milk soap for my face. 
because I like using charcoal. So up on my face. Uh, yeah, their website's on this label too, if you want to go check them out. They are located in Ladysmith, Wisconsin. And then I got Colin a lip balm, and I got myself a lip balm. This one is Cherry Almond. It's really good. That was, that was on my shopping list. My shopping list consisted of scans from Bumblebee that I had picked out during the live that Sarah did uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago. It was before Labor Day. And that's actually all the yarn I bought. I, I had, um, there was a, sh a booth I wanted to check out for um, future sweater yarn. Um, and yeah, got to see some of their colors and touch their yarn in person. So the next time I'm in the market to buy so a sweater quantity, which will not be in the near future. Um, so probably in 2023, I'm gonna go with, uh, it's Northern Bee Studio. They're based out of Northern Wisconsin. They have a um, line called the Moraine, Moraine, like Kettle Moraine. It's a, uh, I think it's a geological structure that we have in Wisconsin. I'm a music teacher. I'm not 100% on that. But um, they have a line called Moraine that they have a sport, a worsted, and a fingering, and it's a Corydale Merino blend, maybe? Again, I'll link it below. I didn't get any. I just wanted to touch it and see it in person, and I'm very excited about getting it in the future. So, that being said, I did get one other small thing. And we all know that I talked about on the last episode, this, my tote bag is next to me with all the stuff in it. We talked about me cheating on my chow goos, and I continued to do that. Seriously, where is it? There it is. Um, I really like the Addy Rocket Squareds, which are the ones with the ridges that are square, hence the name. And I actually found two 32 inch cable, 2.25. It's one of the hardest ones to find. And a booth I went to had them and I bought, they had two, I bought them both. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I will take both. That was the first purchase of the whole trip. Okay, all of this is Bumblebee Acre yarn. All of this is on Coquette. And I did kind of, um, I made my own sock sets because they brought minis to the show as well. So we will start with that. We'll start with my Stranger Things choices. I got all the new Stranger Things colors. So this is Where Are You Going, Max, running up that hill. We have the overhead light on in addition to the box light because it's cloudy. So if these aren't coming through, it'll look fine once I put the filter on. And then this is the mini I picked. Actually, Queen Bee picked that for me. So that will be a sock set because there is a podcast coming. I was going to do a really long episode and decided that's not something I want to do today. Just, I'm an introvert. My batteries are a little depleted, but I wanted to get this recorded so I can get it up for you guys. So, in the podcast, we'll talk more about things that have come. But this is Rainbow Room. Sorry, The Rainbow Room. And then I got this blue mini as my socks set. Oh, I was going to say, on the podcast, I'll talk about the fact that I feel like I can't knit anything if it's not a sock set right now. That's just where I am with my knitting. So the Rainbow Room with a mini that I picked out. None of these are sets. I made these sets at the show. So if you go see them at Rhinebeck, you can do the same thing. This is From Russia With Love. Again, it's a Stranger Things reference. I showed it to my mom and she's like, they do a James Bond line? No, not that From Russia With Love. This is Russia with Love. And I picked this yellow as the sock set. That's three. And then I got Always the Babysitter, Always the GD Babysitter, which is their Steve Harrington color. There's no swears on there. They edited it. Very cool. And then I picked this pewter color as the sock set set. Yeah, so those are the Stranger Things ones. Yeah, and then I picked up this mini to go with uh, my August um, There and Back Again Club. And then we picked this one to go with my Stephen King August Club. And then, speaking of Stephen King, I did Salem's Lot. This is one of the ones I missed. Early in the club, I missed this, and I missed Come Play With Us, Danny. But 
They have everything else other than that. So that's Salem's Lot. I'm very excited about this one. And now all the rest is uh, Tolkien related. So this is Autumn at the Last Homely House. This is good. And then I have Harfoot. I still need to watch episode three of Rings of Power. We're gonna do that this afternoon, now that I'm home. Colin's working on a D D stuff in the office while I'm filming this. And then we are going to stop doing work stuff and we are gonna hang out and chill together. And then I got Dol Goldar. I think I said that wrong. This was a club I missed back in the day of the tour to Tolkien. Also, bees, when you watch this, I don't have Minas Morgul. I looked when I got home, I missed Minas Morgul, so I should have bought it, but that's all right. I'll get it again one day, so. This one's so cool, it's got really cool greens in with the gray. I, the, it's, I don't see a lot of sweaters coming in the future. I have a bunch cast on, I'll get to them when I get to them, but my life is socks right now and I'm totally fine with that. I will say this, I will put this up and then I'm gonna go downstairs and probably work on this sweater. I won't, I have the original Stranger Things socks, that is what I'm working on downstairs. I also have the Hellfire Club bag from Stitching Plaza to hold some of these new ones in, so I'll use that too. Again, I'll talk about on the podcast this next week, I'm hoping to get one done this week. I have a little bit of a calmer afternoon schedule. And last but not least is Elrond. My favorite section of Elrond is this. <laughs> I love this with like the green and the red and the blue. It's so good. I can't wait to see how this knits up. Like I have an idea what it's gonna look like cause I have a couple of skeins that look like this, but yay. So that was Wisconsin Sheep and Wool. I actually followed my shopping list. Oh, hold on, I forgot one thing. Okay, last thing I forgot. Um, this was my sixth sheep and wool, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, there wasn't one, 2022, or one, 22, it was my 7th sheep and wool. I went for the first time, I think it was for the first time, right after I started teaching here in Fond du Lac and I had moved here and lived by myself and I went home for the weekend and my mom asked if I wanted to come to sheep and wool with her on the Sunday before I went home. And I'm like, sure. And I think that's where I bought, I bought Shire Folk by Bumblebee Acres and I bought Science of Deduction, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know, those are my, two of my first Bumblebee Acres colors. Anyway, I did not know until last year that they have like sheep and wool merge. Like I have Rhinebeck t-shirts, like I knew that was a thing. I have two of them. I have the one from 2019 when I went and I have last year's. I also, you've probably seen me wear the one from last year because it was my most worn sweatshirt probably of 2021 20, after I bought it. So it's the one from last year for Sheep and Wisconsin Sheep and is gray and they have a different artist do uh, the prints every year. So like the cover of the brochure and the catalog. So like this is this year's. Last year's was, um, there's more sheep. Like if I open it, you can see. Like, there's more here. Um, where is it going with this? Um, last year it was a, like a, sh I think it was maybe a ram? I don't know. It, it's a sheep and it's got like hydrangea flowers around it. It's very pretty. And it's charcoal gray. This year I got, I always get the crew neck because it's the 90s kid and me. I like a crew neck. I got this year's. This is on like a nice navy blue. I buy it in an absolutely gigantic size because it's meant for very lazy days of knitting or um, traveling, like their travel days, so it's nice and cozy. So this is a 2XL, I can basically wear it as a tunic. But that way if it shrinks down a little bit, which they always kind of do, um, it'll still like fit the way I want it to. So that was my last purchase. You get this at, I think it's the Wisconsin Woolworks? Wisconsin something. They have a booth at the farm, at the farm. They have a booth in a barn <laughs> at the fairgrounds. They're right next to like, there's a, a stall called the Useful Gifts, U-E-W-E-U. -E -E yeah, so 
there we go. That's sheep and wool. Yay! So yeah, like not like I said, not as big of a haul as Rhinebeck, not as long as a vlog as Rhinebeck. I did vlog a little more. I didn't talk much. I just took a lot of B-roll of the barns, but I talked a little bit on my drive to and from. And with that, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go wind some of this up and start knitting. So I will see you guys in a podcast very soon, hopefully by the end of this week. Uh, yeah, and I'll fill you in on other things that I have with stuff I have finished, stuff I've received in the mail. And yeah. So thank you for coming and checking out what's probably going to be a relatively short vlog, probably around 15, 20-ish minutes. And yeah, I hope if you're ever able to make it up to Wisconsin during Sheep and Wool that you go. It's a really good time. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye!